ब्रह्मचर्यव्रती दंडी सर्वेदंडित श्रीमद्विवेकोगी मं प्रचोदयदर्वदर् दि क्लीनिंग प्रोसेस achieved through our knowledge of the various aspects of karma yoga we step on to the second step the bhakti yoga and as in karma yoga the aim of bhakti yoga also is to lead us to the ultimate truth aim of bhakti yoga is the spiritual realization so spiritual realization means we realize that we are one with the god or we can say we realize there is a divinity within us we realize that there is only one truth the interconnected interrelated interdependent the cosmic level the whole truth is one and it is the vibrations of that truth that we see as the universe so now we have to achieve an elevation elevation or expansion in the mind means extraordinary purification of the mind so when we enter into the mind we have seen there is kama krodha lobha moha mada malsadya these are the six unwanted uninvited guests who are occupying the chairs in our mind so if we just politely ask them you go away i would like to worship my god they are not going to move they have come with a special purpose of destroying our life they have no other aim in life they don't like the divinity being established in a human being they want to destroy that divinity that oneness they want to create the dvaita bhava they want to make people quarrel in the name of religion in the name of relationships in the name of anything they can think of so we have to deal with them careful but at the same time within our heart is that amrita chashaka that purna kumbha of amritatva the eternal truth all the time they have their eye on that just like amrita being stored in heaven away from the asuras not giving a chance for them to get there in the same way in spite of these six robbers sitting there with an eye on the amrita chashaka it is still there within us chidananda roopa shivoham shivoham that wonderful container of amrita so what to do we have to get rid of this so great teachers they give us so many advices satsanga disani shravana manana dhyana huh? nine different types of bhakti all these are meant to destroy these things we have seen in karma yoga the inus minus etc have to be destroyed to purify our actions in the same way we have to deal with these six enemies who stand in the way of our getting this amrita chashaka so what shall we do shri ramakrishna says you will find out a way of dealing with them 
all these negative emotions, we will try to transform them into positive emotions. How is it to be done? Karma, desire, it's a very, very natural emotion in the human heart. Desire, but what do we desire today? Today our desire is oriented towards our material wealth, happiness, relations, etc., etc. So that direction has to be changed and brought to towards this Amrita. So karma, let that be there. But the aim of that karma, we will change it into God realization. Dharma viruddho kamosmi, Bhagavan says, any kama, any desire in you, which is not against dharma, dharma means attaining selfhood, attaining realization, so there is a possibility. By counseling, probably, we can change the attitude of this kama and make him aware of this eternal truth within us. Krodha, anger. Today we get angry for nothing at all. If we don't get any material thing we wanted, if we are not getting it, immediately we get angry. Krodha bhavati sammoha dhyayato vishayan pumsa samgaste shupa jayade samgat sanjayade kama kama krodho vijayade So krodha is an outcome. When we desire something and we don't get it, immediately we get angry. At various levels it is operative. It may be in school level, it may be for a pencil which we fought, we got angry with our colleague. In the office it may be he got promotion, I didn't get promotion. At another level, at a very corporate level probably, the contract which I would have taken it, somebody else has taken it. So this krodha is prevalent at every stage of our life. So, we shall feed it with a different information. Alright, be angry. Angry at not getting this wonderful Amrita Chashaka. This treasure chest which is there. Anything that is standing between this and the availability of that chest, let us be angry at that. So anger as such, we will use it, we will give it a right about turn and take it away from materialistic anger to a spiritualistic anger. We will make ourselves angry for not attaining our spiritual aim, spiritual destination. Lobha. Today, I am enamored of the things which others have and there is in my mind an element of jealousy, not getting that. Again, we will use the same technique of right about turn. Yes, be jealous. Jealous for attaining this divine love. So and so, what a great bhakta he is. The stories of all those bhaktas we will read. Let us entertain an element of jealousy towards them. So, jealousy which was a very negative feeling, by making it oriented towards attaining the state of bhaktahood, we will make it also a positive feeling. Moha. I am enamored of so many things. They are attracting me. So what shall we do? Let there be an attraction. Let the God's various forms, to attain them, let that be my moha. The fascination towards Krishna, towards Rama, towards Devi, towards Shiva. So in that way, we can make our moha not oriented towards the materialistic thing, but towards the spiritual attainment. Mother, 
Today, I pretend I am a great man, a rich man, a learned man, etc. But we shall convert that into an aspiration. Yes, let me become a great Bhakta of Bhagavan, a devotee of Bhagavan. I am a great devotee. Then let there be an element of Mother in you, that you are a great devotee. But that Mother is not polluted by any desire or anything. But the awareness that within me I have realized that great truth. When Sri Krishna is talking in the Bhagavad Gita, he uses the word I, mine, etc. But that is when he stands rooted in the universal selfhood. Otherwise he is a Parthasarathi. He listens to what Arjuna says, take it here, take the Radha there, put it here. But when he was giving the Gita advice to Arjuna, he was full of that dignity, self-dignity, acquired by the awareness of the totality of his self, divinity. Malsarya, that is another one. Today you compete with people for position, for power, for this, that. Let us also compete. See, such and such a person, he is a great bhakta. I want to be a great bhakta also. Let the competition be to acquire bhakti, love of God, to acquire that sort of a bliss is that person. So I will also compete with him. If he is able to climb the steps of Bhakti Yoga and go towards this Bhakti, let me also try. So let the competition be for attaining this selfhood. So all these six people, through our effort, it is not easy at all. We will have to struggle like anything, cajole them, console them, offer them something and make them turn towards this pursuit of truth. So that is how a bhakta slowly wins over the adversaries and start moving towards Godhood.